Hi, I'm Steve Priest, Head Golf Professional here at Carden Park Hotel in Cheshire. And for today's tip, we're going to go through on getting out of trouble in just one shot. So, on the first hole here of the Nicholas course, and I've pulled my drive just into the left-hand trees. And basically, I've got two options. I can either go for the Seve Ballesteros kind of miracle type shot where as you can see here just in front there's three trees very close together with two very very small gaps which would actually get me to the green um, but I've got to hit a absolutely perfect trajectory really low missing tree trunks overhanging branches all kinds of trouble which okay I might be able to pull that off but the other option I've got is just over this way where I've suddenly got a much wider gap probably about a, a 15 yard gap between the trees which I know is then going to get me back onto the fairway and then just give me a pitching wedge onto the green to then still give me a chance of possibly saving my par. If I take that option there through the through the narrow gap, yes, I might be able to do it. I'd say maybe one, two out of ten times. But you've got to think about those other potential eight times where it could go wrong. Hitting the trees, then going into further trouble, which then could put me into big danger of getting a high number. So I would always advise that if the ratio, if you like, of success is 50% or less in your head, you should always get it back in play. Now, the other thing to consider, even if you've got quite a big gap, is are there any overhanging branches which I need to avoid with my shot? Here, it's not too bad, but if I was to use a lofted club such as a pitching wedge or even a nine iron, then the branches are going to be in my way. So here I've chosen a seven iron, so I'm looking to actually kind of pitch the ball out so it'll stay quite low and then get me back into play. So I'd set up to it exactly the same as a pitch shot, which I spoke about a few videos back with my weight on my left side, a narrower stance, and obviously like a small half swing just using my body. So I'm just going to play that for you now just to get it back into play. That's fine, that's now onto the fairway, it gives me a chance, I've got about 100 yards with my next shot, hopefully get that pretty close and still save my par. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tip, please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Steve Priest PGA, and also follow me on Twitter, Instagram and also Facebook. Thanks for watching.